going to have to drink great quantities of Guinness and lie down for a time. But this song came about at a time in my life where I'd experienced a great tragedy. I was only eight and I lost both my parents. It's a hell of a card game, honest to God. <laughs> I was only kidding. <laughs> Are you all English? Or is it Welsh people as well? <laughs> you know they say there's nothing wrong with a quiet audience. As long as they're not actually walking towards you. Or my Navy stores the other day. I said, have you got any camouflage jackets? The bloke said, we've got thousands. We just can't find them. <laughs> and I went in the boogies and said, can I back a horse in here? He said, yeah, and I went, come on, Dublin. <laughs> any uh, Chinese people here this evening? <laughs> I should take her up, I think she's ready. <laughs> Do you know what it's like these days? In, in the old days, like say 20 years ago, if you were the boss of a shop or a, a factory or a building site or anything like that, and somebody came to you and said, can I have a job? If you didn't like the cottage gym, you could just go, no, you can't. Couldn't you? And if somebody was working for you and they weren't doing a particularly good job, in your opinion, you could say, get your stuff and get your sack. Couldn't you? You can't do it now, can you? Because it's racial discrimination, sexual discrimination, what kind? Age discrimination, what else is there? Tall discrimination, fat discrimination, Thin discrimination. What else? Have you got one? Anybody? Say I don't sex. You're mad about sex. You're always... <laughs> so you know that's how difficult it is. So, so you, you can imagine how how the boss on the building site felt when the Chinese bloke walked onto the site, and the boss said to the Chinese bloke, he said, "What do you want?" And the Chinese bloke said, "I come here for a job." That's what he told And the foreman went, but he knew he, he had to give him a chance like that. So he said, uh, can you lay block? And the Chinese boy said, no, can I lay block? Or bleak? And the gaffer went, he said, what about, uh, he said, uh, can you plaster? Oh, you know how crashed out. Just to get out my own nose. So he goes, oh. He said, are you any good with electrics? He said, Dad, I can't even say that. <laughs> he said, all right. He said, what about painting and decorating? Oh, he said, I know I can't paint, I know I can't decorate. I got asthma. <laughs> So the gaffer's going like that. He said, what about carpentry? Oh, he said, I'm very afraid of sharp saw. <laughs> so the gaffer's going, I'll put you in charge of supplies. And probably about four, five, six weeks later maybe, he was going around the side the gaffer was, and he's talking to the bricklayer. And he said, do you remember Harry? He said, because Harry was the bricklayer. <coughs> hey? Oh, it could have been Bob. This might have been Bob, right? <laughs> so he said, do you remember it? He said, about a month ago, he said, I hired a Chinese bloke. He said, have you ever seen him since? And right at that minute, the Chinese bloke jumped out of a shed and went, Supplies! 